humankind by the beliefs sparked by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, may have to rethink its understanding of the cosmos. A captivating disclosure has emerged the telescope has revealed a spine-chilling phenomenon in Proxima Andromeda, the nearest massive star formation to us. In the midst of this region, a nearby star structure stands apart with strange artificial-looking lighting captivating scientists in what's being called the Clever Impulse District. Could this be the long-anticipated sign of alien life beyond our planetary system? How do experts determine whether those lights suggest the presence of intelligent life on Proxima b as we delve into how the JWST may have observed what appear to be city lights from 7 trillion miles away our curiosity about the universe's mysteries only grows? Technological advances have dramatically expanded our ability to investigate both Earth and the cosmos, pushing us to explore the immense scale of the universe. In 1984, two American scientists, Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson, launched an initiative called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI. This non-profit effort aims to filter through vast amounts of space-based radio transmissions. As these signals travel immense distances, they serve as a primary technological method for detecting potential extraterrestrial communications. The 42 radio telescopes stationed in the lowlands of California were precisely tuned to the frequencies of the cosmos. Known as the Allen Telescope Array, these instruments were designed to detect any unusual signals from space. Despite decades of observation, no conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence has been found. However, persistent updates from NASA suggest that the James Webb Space Telescope might also be detecting artificial-looking city lights from neighboring planets. This raises the question, could the JWST truly represent humankind's greatest leap forward in examining the universe? The JWST is the most advanced tool ever built for understanding the universe. Positioned around 1 million miles from Earth, this massive telescope serves as our window into the earliest records of cosmic history. It provides unprecedented clarity into the development of star structures and planetary systems. Equipped with cutting-edge cameras and sensors, the JWST allows astronomers to explore the vast scale of cosmic anomalies by targeting specific light frequencies. It examines exoplanets for subtle atmospheric signs like chemical traces or surface changes that may indicate biological activity. Its unmatched ability to peer beyond conventional observational limits has led to groundbreaking discoveries. For instance, the JWST has already detected far more galaxies than previously known reshaping our understanding of the universe's structure and dynamics. As humanity pushes toward the farthest reaches of space, the JWST is expected to play a vital role in uncovering the hidden secrets of distant worlds. The discovery of more than 4,000 exoplanets orbiting distant stars marks a monumental achievement in our quest to understand the universe. Red dwarf stars smaller and cooler than our sun present prime opportunities for studying the potential habitability of other worlds. One of the most promising systems is TRAPPIST-1, which features seven Earth-sized planets. Three of these lie within the star's habitable zone where conditions might support the presence of liquid water. Despite the cooler temperatures, TRAPPIST-1 emits a gentle Earth-like light suggesting that its planets could potentially host life. Another intriguing candidate is Proxima Centauri, the closest large star to our solar system. It is a faint red dwarf star and any planet orbiting it would be closer to its host star than Earth is to the Sun. However, these planets may not maintain stable conditions that support life as we know it. Still, the study of exoplanets has dramatically expanded our understanding of planetary systems beyond our own. Red dwarfs being the most common type of star in the universe offer an abundance of potential targets for finding Earth-like conditions, even if their environments differ significantly from our own. With its powerful instruments, the JWST continues to transform our understanding of the universe. It allows scientists to examine individual exoplanets, identifying key molecules that are essential for life such as water vapor carbon dioxide and methane. By studying extreme environments on Earth like those inhabited by extremophiles, organisms that thrive in harsh conditions scientists gain valuable insights into how life might exist under similar circumstances elsewhere. These insights expand the possibilities of where and how life could survive beyond Earth. The exploration of such extreme conditions deepens our understanding of life's resilience and widens the scope of our search for alien organisms, whether microbial or intelligent. Every new discovery brings us closer to answering one of humanity's greatest questions, are we alone in the universe? As technological innovation accelerates, so does our ability to explore the universe in greater detail. The James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with state-of-the-art technology, stands at the forefront of this scientific revolution.
It allows researchers to study far-off exoplanets and their environments in ways that were once unimaginable. One of JWST's greatest strengths lies in its ability to analyze planetary atmospheres. By identifying chemical markers like oxygen carbon dioxide and methane astronomers can evaluate whether planets might have life-supporting conditions. This is especially critical in the search for planets similar to Earth, where life as we understand it could potentially thrive. But the JWST's scope isn't limited to Earth-like planets. It also focuses on more extreme environments, particularly around red dwarf stars. These stars, while dimmer and cooler than our Sun, are the most abundant in the galaxy and often have planets orbiting within their habitable zones. The TRAPPIST-1 system remains a focal point for scientists. Despite its low temperatures, the presence of water vapor and proximity of its planets to their star make it a strong candidate for habitability. It serves as a key example of how life might exist in conditions quite different from those on Earth. The study of extremophiles organisms that thrive in the harshest conditions on Earth has reshaped how we think about life's potential elsewhere. These resilient creatures survive in extreme heat, freezing temperatures, high radiation, acidic environments, and deep ocean pressure. Their existence challenges our assumptions about what life needs to survive and expands the range of possible habitats beyond Earth. If such life forms can endure Earth's most punishing environments, could similar organisms exist on distant exoplanets with equally hostile conditions? As our scientific tools improve and our knowledge deepens, the search for extraterrestrial life continues to evolve. The JWST, with its unmatched infrared capabilities and precision, represents a monumental step forward in that journey. Every new finding, whether a distant planet or a newly understood organism, adds another piece to the puzzle of our cosmic origins and future. The James Webb Space Telescope marks a significant leap in our efforts to explore and comprehend the cosmos. With each new discovery, it reshapes the way we understand not only the universe itself but also our place within it. The study of exoplanets and extreme conditions isn't just about determining whether we are alone, it's also about uncovering the diversity and resilience of life as a concept. These findings help scientists define the necessary ingredients for life and refine the methods used to detect them. By observing planets in habitable zones, especially those around red dwarf stars researchers can better assess where life-supporting conditions may exist. The TRAPPIST-1 system with its seven Earth-sized worlds and evidence of water vapor continues to be a prime target for such investigations. The subtle light emitted by its parent star combined with the planet's favorable positioning makes it an ideal environment to search for biomarkers chemical signs of life such as oxygen, methane, and carbon compounds. The search for life isn't limited to distant exoplanets. Missions to other bodies within our own solar system like Mars Europa, a moon of Jupiter and Enceladus a moon of Saturn play an equally crucial role. These icy moons, with their subsurface oceans and geothermal activity, may harbor environments suitable for life. Discoveries of potential biomarkers or chemical imbalances on these moons could provide powerful evidence of life or at least conditions that support it. Such findings would also inform how we search for life beyond the solar system by offering real examples of where life might thrive in less conventional places. The integration of JWST data with ground-based observatories and other space missions is essential. Collaborative efforts among international space agencies, academic institutions, and research organizations will provide a more complete and nuanced understanding of the universe.